how's everyone doing today? My name is Gina and I am doing great. So, today I want to make a little, I want to continue to, to play with polymer clay and I want to use my little wings that I made with resin a few weeks ago. I will link the video uh, to these wings down below if you're interested in taking a look-see at it. But the minute that I got the mold from my Sophie and Toffee box for July, I knew that I was going to use these wings to make a fairy. Oh, so uh, I really do like the colors of the wings. I think that it's really pretty. So I've got some of my polymer clay out ready to work with. Um, I have Sculpty 3 and the Craft Smart. I find that the Craft Smart is just, you know, it works just as good as Sculpty 3 for me anyway. This is beige and this is translucent. I'm going to try to add a little bit of the translucent to the beige because I want the skin to have a, you know, kind of a iridescent look to it since it's a fairy, right? I've also got this little bit of magenta clay that I thought would go really well with the wings, right? And I also have some purple here. Again, this is, uh, well, this is souffle in royalty is what that is called. I'm not sure. This has a little bit of sparkle to it. So, um, but I'm not sure what clay that came from because this is pretty old. I also have some green for her hair. Uh, again, this is Craft Smart Bright Green, and this I'm pretty sure is the Sculpty in probably Leaf Green or something along those lines. And I have a little bit of black for her eyeballs. So, with that said, um, let us get working. I just have this towel here because I have the glare from my light on because uh, I do have my glass mat out here uh, because, you know, it's easier to work with the clay if you're on um, glass. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with her head. Uh, again, I'm new to polymer clay, so I'm just going to try my best here with it. Uh, again, this is translucent and this is just beige. The first thing that I do is I take the beige clay and the translucent clay and I will incorporate them, mix them really, really well. Uh, this did take a, about three or five minutes to mix it as well as I wanted it to be mixed. Um, and I half the ball and then I half it again. That way um, I made, I made quite a bit because I didn't want to risk the chance of having to mix more and having different ratios, you know. Uh, so I will uh, continuously use my wings to judge how big I want her. Um, I am going to critique as I go because there are a couple of things, few things actually, that I would change on her uh, when I do her again. I am planning on making more of these because it was fun and it it's just it was a lot of fun to do. Um, so now I'm making her dress and I take the purple and the magenta, use my popsicle sticks to get the uh, thickness that I want of these petals because I'm making the dress out of them. Um, and here comes critique number one. I wish I would have left the petals this long, uh, but I, I don't. Um, I end up cutting them and uh, making it shorter. Here I'm just taking some old clay to make her body. I knew her body was not going to be seen so I really didn't worry about uh, the clay that I used on her. Uh, critique number two, I wish I would have made her body a little bit longer and especially the top a little bit narrower. She's a little squatty when she gets done. Uh, so again, I cut these petals and um, to the size where I felt like they were going to be long enough. I rolled them back in a ball and I used the popsicle stick method to, you know, roll it out to make the oblong petals again. Um, 
again, I really wish I would have left it longer and did her body a little bit longer. I mean, she's cute. She ends up cute anyway, but I just kind of wish that I would have done it a little bit longer. Uh, so I just alternate these petals all around her body to uh, create her little flower looking dress on her. Uh, and now I'm going to make her, her arms and her legs. And again, I just take that quarter piece and I just keep cutting it down to size. Again, using the wings to verify how big I want her to be, her arms. Um, I just roll them in little tubes and move them to make them look the way that I want them to. Now the legs gave me a little bit of a problem because uh, I should have probably kept them this length, but I wanted them a little bit longer because I wanted her to be sitting and crossing her legs. And as you see, the leg was just not quite long enough. So I fuss with that and y'all do not want to see that footage because that was forever. But I get them looking the way that I want. Use my little stylus to make her eyes. Now here I'm trying to put a nose on her and it just did not work for me. Uh, here's critique number whatever we're on. I don't even know now. But I think the clay that I'm using, uh, the Sculpty 3 and the Craft Smart is way too um, malleable for me. I want, I think I need a little bit more firmer clay uh, to do some of the things that I want to do. Like I, I wanted to pinch her nose to make her have a cute little nose, but you can't do that with this clay. It just, it's just so malleable, you know. So I use my pastel chalks to make her little cheeks and black to do her little eyes, black clay to do her little eyes. Here I'm making her hair and I just put like a cap on her <laughs> with the green clay and I kind of make her little bangs the way uh, that I want them to. And I'll end up using this green clay and the other lighter green clay to make like little, uh, you know, little snakes to put on her head um, and again I get it where I want it but then when I handle it it just kind of smushes together and I don't like that I want it to stay like the way that I make it so the clay I'm talking about so I'm pretty sure that I need firmer clay um, for the things that I want to do like I had her hair looking so cute it had little twirls and little flip bitty doos and all this and then it just gets mushed together after handling it just for a little bit uh, here I am making her collar again with the same colors I do have a little leaf uh, cutter and I used it to create the little uh, leaf petals around her collar. Um, I do have a piece of wire in her head and I used my pokey stick to make the hole um, down uh, and I will use uh, baking clay to um, put them together and there you see me doing that. Um, and then she is ready to be baked. Um, I, put, I have this little iron skillet that I got out of a cookie mix or whatever. <laughs> so I put her wings on where I think I want them to go and I kind of press them in to get a good impression. You can't bake these wings because they are made out of resin. So I just needed to put them where I thought I would want them. Um, and then I just bake her and there she's done. Isn't she cute? So I will take the wings now and use uh, UV resin just to attach them to her body, which worked just fine. I'm also going to use some UV resin with a little bit of glitter in it and put it all over her to give her that sparkling fairy dust. And then there she is. She turned out cute. She looks to me like a Fisher Price little <laughs> fairy that you, you know, when you were a little kid, that's what they, that's what they look like. Um, but I think she turned out cute anyway. I really loved her. I really love making it. Again, the things that I've said, I would change on her. You know, I'd make her a little bit longer, her body especially, but I think she turned out cute. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. All right, guys, I will talk to y'all later. Y'all be good to one another. Bye.